Hey guys, welcome back. We frequently encounter this junky nested list in the production, which is not very intuitive and it is also very hard to understand and use it in your code. When the list size is quite large, you can easily convert this junky list to very intuitive ASCII table by using Python pretty table library. Let's get quick handy with it. First install pretty table library. Now let begin to create table. Import pretty table. After that initialize the table. You need to first define the column name. For that you have to use table.field name and pass the column name in the list. Your empty table is created. You can verify it by printing the table. We get the empty table with column name, name, age, sex and salary. Let's start adding the data in the table. To add the data in the table, use add row method. For that type table dot add row and pass the row value in the list. and execute the cell. You see the row has been added in the table. Same way you can add as much row you needed. After adding all the row, the table look like this. You can also iterate by using the for loop, which is quite simple if you already have nested list. Currently I am using add row method to insert the data in the table. You can also use add column where you can insert the data column wise like start with initializing the table, define the column name and use add column method. First define the column name and pass the column value in list. Same way you can add value for age column. Also add value for sex and salary column and print the table. You can also use get a string method to print the table like print tab dot get a string and we get the table. Pretty table also give a flexibility to select some specific column or some specific row just like SQL. To select any specific column or rows, we need to use get a string method. Let's select name and salary column from the table. Use get a string method. Use field parameter and pass the name of the column you want to select from the table in the form of list. Also print the selected table and here we get only name and salary from the table and one more important thing the selected value also written in the form of table. Now let's select some specific row from the table. We also need to use get string method. Instead of field parameter use start and end parameter to define the row. Now. I am selecting row from 1 to 4. So start should be 1 and end is 4. Print the table. And here we get the row from 1 to 4. It is skip 0 index row. You can also short the table by any specific column. You need to use short by method and pass the column name on which you want to apply the shorting. Print the table and here the table has been shorted according to salary from increasing order. You can also short the table by decreasing order. For that you need to set the flag reverse short equal true. 
and the table is sorted according to salary from higher salary to lower salary same way you can apply sorting on any of the column just like sorting method you can also delete row from the table use del row method and mention the row index let's say zero index and print the table now the row with zero index is deleted and only we have four row left just like sql you can also truncate the table use clear row method here the all row from the table has been truncated all row from the table has been truncated but table still exist we can easily add the table by using add row to delete the table use clear method and it return none table not exist from our whole discussion i didn't share you how you can select a specific value from the table actually there is no any separate function is there to select a particular value from the table but you can use simple python to select a particular value from the table for that first check whether the table exists or not okay our main table is still there let's say we want to select value from first row for that select the first row you can use simple list selection that is select first row with index 0 when you print this row you get zero index table to select only name use get string method and in field parameter pass name column and use dot strip method and print it here we get the name but still the value is in tabular form so we need to remove this border and header to remove the border and header from the table you need to set the flag false for both header and border do same for border as well and then print it and we get the specific value from the table you can do exact same to select any particular value from the table one downfall i feel from the pretty table is that it doesn't support any searching so you are not able to search any value from the table you need to use this way to search a particular value from the table if you see this table carefully you understand that the value of this table is aligned to a center you can also modify the alignment of value inside the table by left right or center use table dot align method and mention left right or center print the table and here all the value inside the table has been aligned to right side you can also set different alignment for different column like and here the value inside the name column has been aligned to left side and the value inside the sex column has been aligned to center and the value inside the salary column has been aligned to right side you can even generate table from csv file html file or even from sql as well here is my csv file let read the data from the csv file and create a table for that import from csv from pretty table open and read the csv file copy the file path and pass it in open function read the file pass the csv file into the from csv function and print the table and here it generate the table from csv file you can also read the html file and generate the table from them this is my sample html file that contain data in a form of table so to generate table from html import from html1 from pretty table open html file and read the data use dot read method to read the html file and pass the html file print the table and here it generated the table you can even generate the html file that contain table this is our initial table that we created 
you can easily convert it into html file use table.get html string and here it generated the html file that contained table you can also check it copy it and go to the html viewer paste it and here we get the table that's all from my side i hope you get quick handy with pretty table library for queries or any doubt please leave a comment below see you in next video